Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I am making a quick restock today of lavender soap and I'm using uh, this lavender fragrance from Crafter's Choice. It smells great uh, and it behaves well in cold processed soap. So what I've got in here are my butters and oils, organic colloidal oats, and kale and clay is going on in here. And what I have over here is my creamy raw organic goat milk lye solution. And to this I've added Tussa silk fibers and some sodium lactate. And for my color swirl, I'm gonna use some red clay um, just to add a little interest to it and it's natural and I wanna just keep this really natural. Everything's cooled and ready to go, so I'm gonna get my safety gear on and we're gonna make some lavender soap today, goat milk lavender. And it's time to add our wonderful goat milk lye solution here into our oils that already have all the additives in there and the fragrance and um, this is just such a wonderful bar it's popular and it's simple and I just need to remake it a little faster than I do. I let it run out and I shouldn't. I need to uh, be a little quicker on the restock of this, but uh, hopefully in the future I'll just keep it in stock at a steady pace because it is just, it's wonderful. You really can't go wrong. It's so gentle. So we're just going to emulsion here and then I'm gonna split off and I will stick blend the, ro or the red clay and this as needed. I may put a few lavender buds on there, but I tell you what, I spent a little extra money here, I'll show you, and got these really gorgeous lavender buds from Amazon and they truly are. They're a deep purple color, but you know what? After I put them on my soap and spray with rubbing alcohol and all that, they basically turned brown and kind of look like mouse poop to me. <laughs> that uh, They look like mouse droppings and that frustrates me. I wish they stayed that color. Um, so I don't know quite how to approach that. If you know how to get your lavender buds to stay that bright purple on top of your soap, please let me know. I would love to hear how you accomplish that. And maybe I just need to not spray it with the rubbing alcohol. Um, but anyway. It's the mouse dropping syndrome, and that is my problem with lavender. <laughs> but they're lovely. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pour off now for my red clay. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I'm gonna do an in-the-pot swirl with this because I just want it real wispy throughout. Set that over there. Eh, I might do a little more. Why not, right? There we go. And I'm gonna put a nice, this is a teaspoon, so I'm gonna put a nice rounded teaspoon and then a level, so we'll go for about a tablespoon of red clay. That's what that comes up to. Let me get a whisk. Whisk this in and if everything's behaving, we'll go ahead and stick blend. And I know the red clay isn't purple, but um, I did not have enough uh, purple Brazilian clay to do this. So I thought the red was close enough. And it's nice natural color and clays are so good in soap. There are gentle properties. It's kind of like a mask in your soap bar. It's like the best of both worlds, I think. All right, I'm gonna give this, actually I'm gonna start on my light one, start lightest to darkest and just do a real quick stick blend before we go ahead and get it in the mold. 